presents Walking a Prince or a Creature Season 2, Episode 3, Time of Titans. It is now nightfall, and two huge behemoths are nearby a river to have a drink. This is a mother and two-year-old baby. They've come to the water to have a drink. However, though, a dangerous prey is watching them. Despite this being a huge creature, this predator has a good idea of what he's going to do. The predator is trying to lure the baby away from its mother with a bunch of illusional sounds <clears throat> echoing off of the valley. It is hard to try and figure out where the creature is. <clears throat> The predator suddenly comes out with sharp fangs ready to bite. The baby stays very close to his mother. The mother and baby try to escape while the predator is down. The predator ends up stalking the baby. The baby tries to be by its mother. And the predator, but that's when the predator does something wrong.
The predator has just killed the baby's mother. Now the baby's eyes are. <laughs> Suddenly, another female intrapathier comes to the canyon to have a drink. <laughs> this female does not have any children. But even she decides to try and protect this baby. <laughs> <laughs> It appears that this female might just become a mother. <gasps> it's too dangerous to go now, now with the predator being close by. She'll have to go to the other side of the river. <gasps> <laughs> this is Australia. But 4,500 years ago. As you can see, it doesn't actually look much different. There are many. It is mostly a vast desert filled with many canyons and a few plants here and there. But back then, though, this place was teeming with huge, prehistoric beasts. Some of the biggest, in fact. This is the Intracatherium, the largest land mammal to ever roam the Earth. It is almost as big as the dinosaurs, like some of the sauropods. In fact, you can even call this the mammal version of, say, a sauropod. The incident you saw last night was the, was, was the dangerous predator who attacked and killed this baby Intracathir's mother. But it appears this female has decided to adopt this baby as her own. In this episode, we'll see the hardships that these two Intracathir's about to face. And we'll see what it would be like to live alongside one of the biggest land mammals of all time. Right now, the two intracathiers are on their way to the river to get a good drink of water. They stumble across a very, a very small feasting place. But right here, other big herbivorous creatures come out to feast on some greens, including this bizarre creature. This is a cacathier. It has the body of a gorilla, claws of a sloth, and the head of oh, the head of a horse. It's certainly a very odd creature. As you can tell, those long arms and claws they were used to reach trees and make it easier, similar to the Therizinosaurus. These creatures here roam these very small and shallow forests. Mm. However, though, there is a predator hunting them. This is a hyenodon. Des despite its name, however, it's not actually related to hyenas. If anything, it's more closer to modern day dogs. Then again, hyenas are basically just a wild type of dog. They're also ten times the size, too. This hyena is about to go on a hunt. 
for the hyena down has his target. The count. Hyodons have the bite have a bite force of one per square inch. In other words, they have a very strong and powerful bite. They can crush bones and quickly kill its prey. However, though, another predator comes to steal the meal. This is Gorgonopsid. This is the predator that that hunted the Entrocathiers last night. He is the top predator. <laughs> last night he didn't get a successful hunt. So this time he decided to steal a meal from the hyenodon. Gorgonopsids have very sharp canine teeth and with very long and powerful muscular legs they are very good runners making this a very efficient predator. Gorgonopsid is also surprisingly very well adapted to these environments for there were a few deserts during the time of the dinosaurs so whenever this creature came along it just it feels like home sweet home and that's how this creature became the top predator. Part two coming soon.